Decoding the Skies, UFOs in Ancient Art and Myths. Welcome to an intriguing exploration into the heart of history's mysteries, UFOs in ancient art and mythology. Today, we embark on a journey through time to uncover the secrets hidden in the art and stories of our ancestors. From the cave paintings of prehistoric times to the detailed accounts in ancient texts, we will dive deep into the evidence that suggests a connection between ancient civilizations and unexplained celestial phenomena. Our exploration will take us across different continents and cultures, shedding light on how different civilizations depicted what they could not explain. Could these be mere myths, or is there more to these stories? Join us as we analyze famous paintings, sculptures, and texts from various historical periods, looking for clues that point towards the possibility of ancient alien encounters. As we delve into these artistic and mythological wonders, keep an open mind. The interpretations are as diverse as the artworks themselves, ranging from spiritual representations to potential alien visitations. UFOs and the Biblical Ezekiel's Wheel In the Hebrew Bible, the book of Ezekiel contains a fascinating account of a vision involving a flying chariot, known as Ezekiel's Wheel. This text has been a source of mystery and speculation for centuries. Ezekiel describes a whirlwind from the north, a great cloud with fire flashing forth continually and a bright light around it. Inside, he saw what looked like four living creatures in the form of humans, but each had four faces and four wings. Some UFO enthusiasts and ancient astronaut theorists propose that Ezekiel's vision was actually an encounter with an extraterrestrial spacecraft, interpreting the detailed description as a possible mechanical device. This interpretation suggests that the wheels within wheels, and the living creatures could be a misunderstood description of a complex, otherworldly vehicle operated by alien beings. While scholars traditionally view Ezekiel's vision as a religious and prophetic experience, the striking details continue to inspire debates about its potential links to unidentified flying objects in ancient times. Tassili Nadja Cave Paintings We now travel to the Sahara Desert, to the Tassili Nadja Plateau, where ancient cave paintings offer perplexing images. Dating back to 10,000 BC, these paintings depict various scenes of daily life and strange humanoid figures. Among these figures, some stand out due to their unusual features, round heads, possibly helmets, and objects that resemble modern-day spacesuits. These depictions have fueled speculation about alien encounters in prehistoric times. The beings are often shown with oversized heads and eyes, 
traits typically associated with modern representations of extraterrestrials. This similarity raises intriguing questions about what inspired these ancient artists. Some scholars suggest these figures could be ritualistic masks or symbolic representations, while others argue they might be depictions of beings seen by the artists. The mystery deepens with the lack of textual context, leaving the interpretation of these paintings open to speculation. Were these ancient people documenting encounters with otherworldly beings, or were they simply expressing their imagination? Vimanas in ancient Indian texts. Next, we delve into the ancient Indian epics, where Vimanas, or flying chariots, are described in great detail. These texts, including the Mahabharata and the Ramayana, date back thousands of years and feature stories of gods and heroes traveling in skybound vehicles. The descriptions of Vimanas are strikingly detailed, often mentioning different types, sizes, and capabilities, some even hinting at advanced propulsion systems and flight techniques. These ancient texts describe Vimanas taking off vertically, moving silently, and displaying a variety of lights and colors, characteristics reminiscent of modern UFO sightings. The parallels between the ancient Vimana descriptions and contemporary UFO reports have led to theories that these texts could be historical records of advanced aerial vehicles, possibly of extraterrestrial origin. While some view these descriptions as purely mythological, the detailed and technical nature of the texts keeps alive the debate about whether ancient Indians witnessed advanced, possibly alien, technology. Wanjina Petroglyphs of Australia In the remote Kimberley region of Western Australia, ancient rock art known as the Wanjina Petroglyphs captures the imagination. These striking images date back approximately 4,000 years. The Wanjina figures are characterized by their large, black eyes, halo-like heads, and lack of mouths. Their appearance bears an uncanny resemblance to modern depictions of extraterrestrial beings. Indigenous Australian legends speak of the Wanjinas as sky beings who descended from the heavens, creating and influencing the landscape and its inhabitants. For the Aboriginal people, the Wanjinas are powerful ancestral spirits with a deep connection to the land and weather. However, the distinct portrayal has led some to speculate about possible alien influences in these ancient artworks. The mysterious nature of these petroglyphs, along with their striking visual similarities to modern alien imagery, continues to intrigue both scholars and UFO enthusiasts bridging ancient art with contemporary extraterrestrial theories. Nuremberg Woodcut of 1561 
In 1561, the skies over Nuremberg, Germany, were reportedly filled with an array of bizarre aerial phenomena. This event was immortalized in a famous woodcut, depicting what many believe to be a UFO battle. The woodcut shows various shapes, spheres, crosses, and tubes, engaging in what appears to be a conflict, a sight that left the townsfolk both astonished and terrified. Nuremberg in the 16th century was a bustling hub of the Holy Roman Empire. This sighting, documented in broadsheets of the time, has remained one of the most well-documented early UFO sightings. The Nuremberg event is not unique. Similar sightings were reported in Basel, Switzerland, in 1566, and these historical accounts bear striking resemblances to modern UFO reports. While some historians suggest these phenomena could be explained by natural occurrences, UFO enthusiasts see them as evidence of extraterrestrial activity. The truth behind this historical enigma continues to captivate and mystify. Medieval and Renaissance Art Depictions We now turn our focus to the art of the medieval and renaissance periods, rich with religious and mystical symbolism. Interestingly, some of these works contain elements that modern viewers might interpret as UFOs. Take for instance, the Annunciation with Saint Emidius by Carlo Crivelli, where a beam of light from a circular cloud formation shines down upon Mary. To contemporary eyes, this might resemble a spacecraft spotlight. In Art de Gelder's Baptism of Christ, a disc-like object shines beams of light down on John the Baptist and Jesus. This peculiar portrayal of divine intervention bears a striking resemblance to modern UFO imagery. These artworks, rich in religious context, often depicted divine or angelic visitations with cloud formations and beams of light. To some, these could be interpreted as ancient artists witnessing something beyond their understanding. While most historians view these as symbolic or allegorical representations, the striking similarities to modern UFO reports have led some to speculate about a historical basis for these celestial encounters. As we conclude our journey through the enigmatic world of UFOs in ancient art and mythology, we are left with more questions than answers. The artworks and texts we've explored span cultures and centuries, each with its own story to tell. On one side of the debate, we have the view that these are products of human imagination, rich in symbolism and metaphor. On the other, the possibility of these being early encounters with extraterrestrial beings. The ongoing reports of UFO sightings in our own time add another layer to this mystery. Are we witnessing a phenomenon that has been occurring since ancient times, or are these independent events?
This journey through ancient art and mythology invites us to look at our history and folklore with fresh eyes, pondering the mysteries of the past and how they connect to the present. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Whether these are tales of ancient imagination or hints of alien visitation, the mystery remains, inspiring us to keep searching for answers in the stars and stories of our ancestors. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you enjoyed the content and see you in our next video.